in 1945 and it cost about a million dollars to build back then. Now the city had a number of venues out there on the pier. They had a bandstand, a dance floor, at one point they had bumper cars and an outdoor movie theater. But over the years uh, the city couldn't make the pier pay for itself. So in 1963 it was leased to the flagship hotel. Anybody remember the flagship? The flagship was an eight-story hotel they built out there on the pier. It was the first hotel of its kind in the United States to be built out of the water like this. Now the flagship stood there until 2008 when Hurricane Ike hit the island and it damaged the building so severely they had to demolish it. Following Hurricane Ike, the pier stayed abandoned for a couple of years. Until it was purchased by Tillman Fertitta. Some of y'all might know the name. You know, he used to rock his, made his little phrases. Uh, he bought the pier from the city and he built the new place of pier you see out there today. Now, Mr. Fertitta only paid the city of Galveston a half a million dollars to buy that pier. But it was pretty badly damaged during Hurricane I He had to spend a lot of the money to repair it.
whole time they're growing up, most of the time they're getting a strong south wind coming off the Gulf, so they grow up when it's going.
fella could island. So you stay on 51st all the way to the end at Dead End and do uh, Seawolf Park. At Seawolf Park they have the Galveston Naval Museum and at the Naval Museum they have a World War II destroyer escort and a World War II submarine that you can tour. Cool.
70 of these valves to be placed throughout the city. There are only six left today. If you look back at that valve, you'll notice it has two sides. One side was for human consumption, the other side for horses. Just a now the area straight ahead of us here is Pier 21. This is the Ford area and there's a number of things to do in this area. Just ahead of us to our left is the Pier 21 Theater. They have a really good 45 minute documentary on the great storm there.
This is actually where he got his first big break. Oh, cool. In 1961, Dan Rather was a reporter for a local TV station in Houston. In 1961, Hurricane Carly hit Galveston. Dan Rather came down here and tied himself to a post out there on the front lawn and was the first TV reporter to report live from the eye of a hurricane. <laughs> Thank you. 